Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today's video is going to be a try on from Rose Gal. We have some dresses, some shirts, a pair of shorts, which I'm really excited to try on. They're like kind of like biker shorts, but they're not, they're like legging type biking sh biker shorts, like gym leggings, like workout leggings. And then I also have a really, really cute bathing suit that you're not going to want to miss because it is so cute. It's actually a tankini to be exact. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you are new here. I wanted to talk real quick about Rose Gal and their sizing. So when you go on the website, you are going to scroll over their sizing. And when you click the 3X, or even when you scroll over the 3X, down on the bottom to the left, so the say the 3X is right here, down right over here, right below it, to the left, yes, yes, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, to the left, you are going to see what size it is in US. So sometimes a 3X will equate to a US 18, sometimes a 3X will be a 20, it just all depends. So that is so important. Now for the most part, I usually go with like a 20, with Rose Gal 22, it's been a hot minute and I've gained some pounds since I've shopped Rose Gal. But generally for an idea, I believe I used to be like an 18, 20. So I used to kind of just go based on whatever sizing it was. So if a 5X was an 18, I went with the 5X. So whatever your actual US size is, that's what you go with. 3X, 18, and you go up to the 4X. Also, I would say if you're like an 18, 20, go more towards your 20 versus the 18. So kind of size up a little bit versus sizing down or staying to your lower end of your sizing. I hope that helps. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to show you this beautiful dress that is entirely too tight around my bust. I actually can't get this straight, but it is so cute. So if you can fit this, girl, this is so cute. So you have this beautiful dress it is so pretty it's a maxi it's it's a good bit of fabric like this is a lot of fabric it has this and then it has this underlay right here this is definitely not a hundred percent some like georgia summer friendly maybe spring georgia spring friendly Actually, it's not even summer yet, but we're having summer temperatures. So right now, I could not wear this outside without dying. So just keep that in mind. This is a beautiful dress, however, but it is incredibly too tight right here. And with that, it kind of like makes my stomach protrude right here. And it literally makes me look pregnant. Even from the front, I was like, whoa. So it does have adjustable straps. If you are smaller up top, or maybe if you can size up one, this is a size 22. So if I'm not mistaken, this might be around the biggest size. So I might actually not be able to size up again or like another one. But if I was able to size up to a 24, it would fit really well because you have the adjustable straps right here. And then you just have, I love anything that's like, flowy and girly and billowy, billowy and delicate like off the shoulders it's just so pretty and it's just so delicate and girly I just love it however I just find this to be too much fabric for the climate that I live in and again it's just entirely too tight right here so this is a hard pass for me but it is such a pretty dress so if you do get it, again, definitely size up, especially if you have a bigger stomach, especially if your stomach's like bigger up here too, definitely size up. This dress right here is so pretty. It's light, definitely perfect for summer. I love the color. I love how it's kind of like handkerchief style where it's like longer on the side and it kind of goes to a point. I also love the beautiful pink color up top it has adjustable straps it does kind of show my bra a little bit but that's normal so I can just take a pin and go like that I'm out of breath right now for some reason it's it's the sun's starting to come down this way I think so this room is starting to get like really hot yes I have air conditioner by the way so many of you are like do you not have air 
Yes, y'all, I have air, but I get hot like that. And no, I'm not going through menopause, so don't even mention it. Thank you. <laughs> They're not hot flashes. I'm just a big girl. And even when I wasn't a big girl, I just sweat. I sweat like crazy. I live in a very humid climate. And when I get hot, I get really out of breath. Plus, I just drank, like, I downed a smoothie because I'm really, really thirsty. And I feel like it bloated me a little bit. But anyways, I digress. This dress... It's a little see-through, not entirely. Like, if I'm, like, staring, I can see, okay, yeah, like, you can tell I'm wearing, like, gray underwear or whatever. So, if you just wear some nude underwear, you'll be fine. And this is what it looks like in the back. The, the top color is just so pretty. And then the floral is really pretty, too. Like, I just really like this dress a lot. Like, I love this up here. This color is gorgeous I've become like I'm slowly becoming really obsessed with like all color all shades of pink just beautiful except for like the really like salmon-y pinks those don't look so good on me this dress is so pretty I literally could not figure it out for the life of me though I thought it was supposed to go around the neck and then tie in the back and then I was like huh I'm going to put some footage as I'm talking so you guys can see because I didn't know I was recording when I was trying it on. But yeah, this dress is so, so pretty. By the way, the last dress was a size 4X and I could do a 3 or a 4X. It didn't matter because of the fact that it had adjustable straps. Probably should have went stayed with a 3X, but this one is also 4X. I feel like I definitely need a 4X. It has a zipper on the side. These little ties right here tied on the side oh my gosh it is so cute and it's so flattering how it go oh this is just so pretty one thing i will say is that it has this little belt right here but i personally think that it looks so much better without it i don't even think it needs it so it is detachable um oh it's just so pretty now as i'm looking i'm looking at the fabric and i'm like this fabric is completely see-through but if I'm not mistaken, you can't actually see through it though, unless you're like going like this. And even still, you can't like see through it, see through it. So did want to put that out there, but I love this dress. It is so cute and so pretty and so flattering. That's what it looks like in the back. For some reason, wait, I feel like I have this on backwards because I feel like do I? Y'all, I do. Hold on a second. I was about to say, why is it shorter? And then I saw this little ruffle right here. And then I saw, just hold on, give me a second. There we go. <laughs> I don't feel like an idiot, actually, because this dress is very complicated. But once you figure it out, man, is this dress cute, right? And it does go kind of, not like super short in the front, but it does go much shorter in the front. That's why it was shorter in the back, longer in the front when I had it turned around. Plus right here fits so much better. And then the back looks so much better. So that's what it looks like. I love this dress. I mean, first of all, it's like cobalt blue with floral, which is so beautiful. And I just love the color cobalt, but the ties make it so girly. It's so flattering on the chest. It's just beautiful. I love this dress and I got this dress in a size 4X. Oh my gosh. Size 22, I feel like I should have went with a 20, but it's not like too oversized. It's just, it's a little big right here. And then in the back, you can kind of see it kind of dips a little low because it's like a little big up top. But, oh my gosh. First of all, you have this pretty little bow, okay, which makes it so girly and so cute. Kind of sailorish, Is it? Yeah. Then you have this gorgeous cobalt blue. Then it goes into kind of what looks like a peacock into tie-dye and it's really flattering again with the handkerchief style this is just this dress is 
beautiful. And then here in the back, it crisscrosses like I told you. It's a little big up top. So I definitely would have needed um, a 20 in this one. But oh my gosh, this is just, it's so incredibly flattering. It's flowy, it's light. This is a phenomenal dress for summer. Oh my gosh, just beautiful. It doesn't go down too low. You can totally just like wear this, I don't know, like a casual place that you would go to in the summer and wear some cute little sandal flats. Or you can take this out on the town, go on a date, wear some wedges. And just this color is just insanely gorgeous. This is definitely by far 100% my favorite dress out of this haul. Like it is just, I can't stop. I can't stop talking about it. It is beautiful. Go, go get it right now. Just go get it. I'm telling you, go get it. It is so good. So good. Oh my gosh. And it's so flattering, you guys. It really, really truly is. My friend's coming over today and I think I'm just going to wear this because it feels so good and it's not like too short to where you sit down and you're gonna be like, oh, it's perfect. It's flowy, it's not constricting, it's stretchy. This is just perfection, perfection. Okay, so here is my first bathing suit of the season. I love this bathing suit. I actually already tested it out, took it out for a test drive. And I will say this, if you are a swimmer or if you're actually gonna be like doing anything in the water more than just like, sitting down in the water like on a little ledge or sitting on a float this is probably not going to be the swimsuit you're going to want to go to or this is not going to be the swimsuit that you're going to want to wear this is the perfect lay out in the sun chill in the pool swimsuit however when you start swimming around or trying to like do stuff this kind of goes down a little too much this kind of goes up. It's not the most comfortable, but it is so, so cute. Okay, can we talk about the fact that this is a peplum bathing suit? I did get this in a size 5X, and I feel like I should have stayed with the 4X because I do feel like it is a little too big up top, and I did have a lot of issues that day that I was wearing it. Hold on, like the pad is all wonky. Uh, we'll fix it. No, because no, that looks weird. Okay. Hold on. Removable pads just are not my friend. Okay. So adjustable straps. So I have adjusted the straps pretty much as much as it can go. And I still have a little bit of fabric right here and then a little bit of fabric right here. So again, I should have stayed with the 4X. What was I going to say? I was having issues with this whole thing the whole day I was like so self-conscious and I was like constantly pulling it down because a lot of times when I get in the pool I like to like move around tread water swim play with the kids go diving for diving sticks have like tons of fun in the pool by the way if you see my underwear I'm wearing underwear underneath this because I just didn't feel like taking them off but these bottoms are so cute they're just striped black and white and this is really really a cute bathing suit what I highly recommend but again, if you're a swimmer, this is not a swimming bathing suit. This is a look really cute kind of bathing suit. And the thing I love about it too is that you can totally just kind of take the straps down and have it to where, you you know, if you are tanning, um, I know, teach their own, do you, do what you do. Um, we're all educated. Well, most of us should be educated on the, the dangers of the sun. But if you are out there trying to tan, um, this is really good because, you know, you can pull it off and it won't give you tan lines. So yeah, this is really, really cute and I had a lot of fun wearing this last Sunday. Okay, so before I try these on, I wanted to show you guys this. I thought that these were just like regular biker shorts, but they actually have this like underwear lining in here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a swimsuit bottom or if they're just like shorts that you don't have to necessarily wear underwear with. I don't know, but I got them in a size 5X and I'm about to try them on and I'm so excited for these and I really hope that I love these. 
fingers crossed. By the way, I sized up to a 5X, especially with this one, because I never know. But with this one, for sure, I would stay with the higher end of your size range. So a 4X would have been perfection on me for this bathing suit. Okay, so here are the shorts. Again, I'm not entirely sure if they're meant to be swim trunks, or swim shorts. I guess you could do either because it definitely is swimsuit material, but I feel like you can also wear these to work out in. I would definitely need the 5X for sure in these. So I would say in these, size up like two for sure. Cause well, no, I'm a 3X, but with shorts, I usually go up to a 4X because I always size up in shorts. So I would say if you normally size up one in your shorts, size up two in these. If you don't have to size up in your shorts, then just size up one. Hope oh, that makes sense. Okay, this color is so pretty. I'm loving blues too. Like I'm loving mints and teals. Uh, this is just so pretty. Let me know what you guys think. Like, do you guys think that these would be good to work out in? Like, I've been trying to learn TikTok dances. It's not going so well. I thought I knew how to dance until I got on TikTok and I was like, that looks so easy. And then I was all like, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, um, these are really cute. I like them a lot. I do, they do kind of go down a little low back in the back. Oh, dang, my door is open right there. Um, but they do go down a little low. But other than that, I'm usually always wearing a shirt that would go over it anyways. So, I don't know. I guess it could be either. So, these are really cute though. They're very, very comfortable. And I have made a vow to myself that I am not going to wear pants a whole lot this summer. And when I say that, I don't mean I'm just going to wear my underwear. I mean, I'm going to wear a lot more shorts because it is just entirely too hot out there. Okay. These are really cute. So I highly recommend them. Just like I said, what I said about the sizing. Okay. So from here on out, we just have shirts and they're good. They're like really good. I haven't tried them on yet, but just basing it on this one, size 4X, it's so good. I told y'all, I told y'all, even though these I've gained a few pounds, which I can't afford to lose to gain any more weight, but I'm constantly, mm, 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 I'm gonna mm, put a stop to it and just, we're gonna keep doing this and we're gonna stop doing this. But the last time I wore these, they were not this tight. So if I sound out of breath, it's because these jokers are really tight and my thighs like hanging out. But oh my gosh, I got them from Fashion Nova last year, just in case you guys are wondering. It was in a haul, they probably still don't have them. But this shirt is so good. It's so cute, it's black. Is this the first black thing that I have in this haul? Jill is changing, I'm telling you guys, the small little things that I'm noticing about myself, I'm like, I may not feel 100% yet, but I'm getting there, I am on my way, so. This is just, I love this. This is so pretty. It's so flattering. Plus it's flowy. It goes into a V. Is it a V? Triangle. And then same thing in the back, which if you guys know me and watch me a lot. You know, I actually normally don't like things to go this long on my butt, but when it is triangle, it actually isn't that bad. And this is really flowy up top. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this shirt this summer for sure. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna film my meal prep video in this tomorrow. So cute, I love it. This one, size 20, I would definitely size down on this one for sure. I feel like I can actually go, sorry my battery died. I feel like I could actually go down to a size 18 cause it's like, it's not big up top, but I would like it to fit just a little bit more snug up top, just a tiny bit. But this is so cute. I just, okay, specifics. Black lace, beautiful. Then you have the bows going down. I'm just 
not sure if I'm 100% crazy about the bows. Like, I like them, but then I'm not sure if it's a little too juvenile. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below, in the comments down below. But again, with the point, triangle point in the front, in the back, it's just rounded, which I really, really like. And it's very flowy, very light t-shirt material. So again, perfect, perfect for summer. And it's just this beautiful little baby pink, beautiful little baby pink. It's just this beautiful baby pink color that I've become obsessed with. But again, I'm wondering if you can take the bows off if you don't like them. You can. So if you like this top, but are not crazy about the bows, then you can totally take them off. They also had this in a ton of different colors, if I'm not mistaken. So if you don't like this pink, but you like the style, then go check it out. Size 3X, I definitely should have went with a 4X on this one. Um, it's cute, it's tie-dye. I like the fact that it has these little hooks right here, these little rings. And then this is what it looks like in the back. However, I don't like the material whatsoever. And I don't like how it clings. I also, this also feels like, like, okay, for instance, like right here, it's way too big up top. But it's too tight right here. So this is just a very ill-fitting top. I love the colors. I hate the fabric. I do not like the fabric at all. It's kind of thick, actually. It literally feels like a thicker swimsuit top. That's exactly what it feels like. I don't like it. I don't like this at all, but it's really cute. I wish it was more cotton like the other shirts and was flowy that it would be perfection. This top is so cute, size 3X. But this top is so cute. First of all, it is such a pretty color. You have like this little crochet lace right here. Then it kind of goes almost into a halter. Here are the straps, they're like, divide. there's like two straps. <laughs> I'm like, they're divided into two. Um, and then, look at how cute that is. Now this, I like a lot better than the one, than the bows in the shirt. Or on the front but I still really like this I like both anyways so incredibly cute this is not as flowy as the other ones and I don't like how long this goes in the back but honestly I have another shirt that's almost this color and what I do with it is I literally just go like this because I do not like how sh how long this is in the back so I will just kind of put a little tie. I mean, you can totally tie that if you know you probably can't. Does that look ridiculous? Cause that's what I've been doing this whole time with that other shirt. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know if I like that. But that's what I would do. That's what I do with the other shirt. That's just too long in the back, but I absolutely love it. So, so yeah, here's the shirt. Again, don't look at my stomach. I'm trying to think like, what can I throw on real quick? Cause I don't have any jeans that are clean. <laughs> All I have are workout leggings and those shorts you saw me in. Um, but I feel like you need to see this without my stomach poking out, so hold on. I don't know, it's still kinda like, it's not my favorite length, I'm gonna be honest. It's not, if it were like this, which I might kind of try my hand at some sewing, I don't know, it's the length that I don't like. Okay. This, how cute is a shirt up top? Darn you stomach. We're gonna work on that. I've been saying that for over a year, actually over seven. But anyways, this was a really, really good haul. This shirt is super cute. I don't like the way that it fits, but other than that, everything worked except for that tie dye. Was the first dress? How was the first dress? I can't remember. Did I like it? I wanna say I did. So yeah, love the bathing suit, love the bathing suit. These shorts, I'm obsessed with. I cannot, like, I'm going to be getting tons of use out of them and probably working out working out in them a lot. The little peacock tie-dye dress, oh my gosh, perfection. 
the pink dress beautiful the white dress that ties on the side so cute so many incredibly cute things in this haul everything is going to be linked down below in the order in which i tried them on so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new here love you guys huge thank you to rose gal for sponsoring this video i hope that you guys have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye